Let's find out if this thing's any good or not. First of these Bauer 20 volt cordless tools we're going to test is this right angle drill. On Harbor Freight website, out of 57 reviews, people give this 4.8 stars out of 5. Now, most of the reviews are 5 stars. There's a handful that's 4 stars, and I don't think there's any that's below 4 stars. So, apparently people think this thing's pretty good. Now, first impressions looking at it. I do like it, it has a metal chuck, obviously. It's a 3 8 drill chuck, which I would prefer a half inch, but you know, 3 8 is what we got. The black overmolding seems pretty good on it, has a good grip to it, feels pretty balanced in my hand. The trigger feels pretty beefy, doesn't feel real sloppy, so I think it would last for a while. It has a two-speed transmission, in one, it'll go from zero to 650 RPMs. In two, it'll go from zero to 2000 RPMs. It claims that it has 345 inch pounds of torque and it comes with Harbor Freight standard 90 day warranty, which they will allow you to purchase a two year extended warranty for $20 or so. I don't know the exact price because I've never bought them because I don't like having to pay for a warranty. And the tools that I buy there are mostly for review sake for the YouTube channel. So I don't so much care about warranty because I'm probably never going to warranty them because I'm probably never going to use them. I'll either give these tools away to somebody at some point or maybe sell them or something. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but at some point I actually, I'm going to try to build something back here to, for the channel to see so we can look so that we can see all my cordless tools that I'm going to be accumulating that I have accumulated doing this channel so far. It also does have a belt clip. And as I said in the Bauer introduction video that they only offer a 1.5 amp hour or a three amp hour battery in their 20 volt line. Now they have a name for their 20 volt Bauer line. They call it Hypermax, which they've trademarked. What is Hypermax? I don't know. I think it's a cool name they come up with or a name that may, they may think is cool to try to sell some of these tools, but I don't know exactly what Hypermax is. So if you know what Hypermax is, leave it down in the comments and what makes something not Hypermax versus Hypermax. <laughs> I don't know, man, but if you know, leave it down in the comments so we all can know. Now, what is the purpose of having a right angle drill like this? Well, if you've ever well, had to drill between two studs set on 16 on center or even two foot on center, and you're up there, you're trying to angle your arm up, if you can even make the drill fit in between the studs, then you'll know what the purpose of this is. You can get in between studs or floor joists pretty easily, and I can apply my pressure like this and be able to use this drill more effective than I can a straight drill. If I was up here, I'd have to reach back to try to give it pressure and it, it's uncomfortable. And sometimes a drill won't even fit in between the two studs or joists or whatever you're trying to get in between. So there are some uses for this and it will allow you to get a lot more pressure and in turn allow you to drill a faster hole or a bigger hole or whatever you got to do it, it there are many uses for this now another thing that i do like about this line obviously which is standard in most lines is they have an indicator on the battery but as we've been dealing with the rigid 12 volt and the milwaukee 12 volt then we run into batteries that do not have indicators on the batteries and in the rigid case doesn't even have an indicator on the tool. <laughs> so you have no clue what your battery situation is, how much juice is left in your battery. And if you ever make the mistake of not charging your battery or not bringing an extra battery with you because you think you have more juice 
than what you really do have, then you would be pretty upset the fact that there was no type of indicator on the battery. Granted, you should check and you sh and it would be your own fault, but everybody makes mistakes. I've made millions of mistakes and I'll probably make a million more mistakes, you know. But anyway, we're just gonna check this thing out. We're gonna measure it, we're gonna weigh it, and I'm gonna drill a few holes with it. And I'm gonna tell you if I think it's a 4.8 out of five star right angle drill, or if the people that made these reviews, you know, was wrong in my opinion. You know, you might give something five stars that I may give one star, and that doesn't make either one of us right or wrong. It just means that for me, it's a one star drill, and for you, it's a five star drill. And I expect more out of a tool than I think a lot of people do. And for the money, man, I mean, $69.99 for the bare tool, $39.99 for the three amp hour battery. So we're looking at a total of $109.98 for this setup right here. And that's only a 90 day warranty included. So if you wanted to factor in the warranty, say for another $20 or $19.99, then we're looking at $129.97 for this with a two year warranty. And a lot of people will say, oh, you're factoring in the warranty, you're factoring in the warranty, that I, for some reason, they think that I shouldn't factor in the price of the warranty with this tool. <laughs> and I'm not sure why. I mean, you know, if I buy a DeWalt drill, then it has a three year warranty. I don't have to buy that warranty. If I buy a Milwaukee drill, it has a five year warranty. I don't have to buy that warranty. But if I did have to buy the warranty, then I would factor that into my cost if I bought the warranty. But if you don't want to buy the warranty on this, then you're looking at $109.98 for this setup. So let's measure this thing, weigh this thing, and then we'll go ahead and run it through a few tests and we'll see what it's made of. All right, we'll weigh this with the battery first. It's a three amp hour battery. Let's see what we got. It's like four pounds, 6.5 ounces. Without the battery, it's like three pounds even. So the length of this thing without a battery is approximately, so we're looking at about 11 and a quarter inches without the battery. Let's see if we slap the three amp hour battery on it. See if this thing's long enough. It is not long enough. So what I'll do is just measure this battery. Just give us some kind of indication. So we had 11 and a quarter tool. Then we got about 2.412 inches, so we're probably looking at about 13, 13 inches. And here we're looking at almost 4.4 inches. So that's pretty, I mean, when we look at a drill, let's say for instance, we look at this Milwaukee, we can see the difference. I mean, this has got about an extra inch, inch and a half, on this so that can make quite a big difference when getting between joists and studs as i was saying but the main thing that you're going to get with this by going between the studs is the shape of this and able to get the pressure on the drill and the bit to get through the wood versus trying to use this just gives you more of an area to be able to apply the pressure than this so that's why I kind of like these 12 volt tools better than the 20 volt tools. I mean, once you get start looking at the length and the weight versus the power that you can get with this, I mean, the trade off of the little bit of power loss in this particular case, especially in this drill is worth it to me to just use the 12 volt drill versus the 20 volt drill in a lot of cases. But as I said, this drill is made for a specific purpose. If I can grab it like this, and be able to get apply pressure to get through the wood easier versus if I was using this and I was up in there, I'd have to reach up in there like this to get the pressure. Whereas with this, I could just hit it just like this. It's so much more comfortable, it's easier. So this is made for a specific purpose. It's not made to be compared to this, which is why I'm not comparing it to anything. We're just gonna test it now. We're gonna drill a few holes and I'm gonna see how powerful it is. I'm gonna see 
how smooth it is, and I'm going to see if it lasts at least through a few hard tests and then give you my impression on it. So let's get over here and drill a couple holes. As you see, I have two 2x4s two nailed together. I'm going to use a half inch drill bit. I'm going to keep this on speed two. This should be no problem for this drill. I'm going to drill a few holes straight through this and we'll see how well it does. So let's go ahead and drill a few holes. So that did pretty good. It did start getting hot. Right here is where it's venting out. It's where your motor is. And it is hot right here. So when you're holding this, if you have your hand up on the trigger, then you are going to feel that heat right there. Granted, it is pretty hot in here. It's about 90 degrees right now inside this garage. So that is going to play a factor in how hot this tool will get. But when you're gripping this, you're definitely going to want to try to hold it and use just the bottom of the trigger because once you start getting up here. Now the bad thing about testing this drill is the fact that it has a 3 8 chuck and most of the big heavy duty drill bits I have to try to test this, we're going to need at least a half inch chuck. Now I bought this Hercules drill bit set and it actually does have a half inch drill bit which is what this is, but it's, but it's reduced down on the end to allow it to fit in a 3 h chuck made specifically for the Hercules drill. As we see here, legendary performance. <laughs> I'm just playing. I actually do. I kind of like the Hercules. Pretty cool. So with that being said, I can't use my auger bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and bump it straight up. We're going to go to the paddle bit and I'll start off low, work my way up and we'll see if this thing struggles at all in any way, shape, or form. But based off of that right there, I'm going to say maybe it does deserve that 4.8 stars that them guys gave this. So let's go ahead and load up the paddle bits. Once again, we're using the Hercules paddle bits as well. These are the self-feeding paddle bits. So let's go ahead. I'm going to drill a couple with this. We'll see if it can do it. Gonna lower it down. I didn't know if it could handle that on speed two, but we're gonna go ahead and lower it down to one because it's not it's not doing too hot on this. It's only a one inch, it's a one inch bit. I didn't know I was gonna see if it could handle it, so let's go ahead and do speed one. Did that pretty good, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just bump it straight on up. We're up to an inch and a quarter, still on speed one. All right, man, it shut down about three or four times, but it did do pretty good, and it's smoking. I don't know if the camera's catching that or not, but it is smoking, so we're going to let this thing cool down for a second. Definitely did. That was definitely some work for it. Still on two bars, though. But that was definitely some work for it, man. And I got to tell you, this thing doesn't stink like them Hercules stinks, man. Them Hercules got a bad Chinese cheap tool stink to them once you start heating them up. But this doesn't have that. This smells more like Fritos. <laughs> but it does have a little smell. But, man, this is nothing like them Hercules, man. Them Hercules have just some horrible stink to them, man. So, anyway... It did pretty good right there. I'm going to let this cool down for a second. I'm going to clamp down this 4x4 post, and we're going to drill a couple more holes, 
through the 4x4 post, and then I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Okay, it's only been about five minutes. I don't want to let this thing cool down too much because I do want to see if it can handle this part. And I'm just going to drill a couple holes and see if it can make it through it. And then I'm going to let you know what I think. We're still at... Well, we're back up to three. We're back up to three battery bars. Now, I've noticed that with a lot of these tools. After you get done using them for a minute, they may give you a different indication than if you let them set for a minute. Like I've noticed with the Milwaukee, it'll go down to three sometimes, and then it'll be back up to four. So that could be due to the heat, could be due to whatever, but there's still three on this. So I haven't recharged it. I haven't did anything. So let me go ahead and drill a couple holes, see what happens. Alright, she's smoking. <laughs> Man, I bet you can see that one. Woo! Alright, we're gonna call that quits. I ain't trying to destroy the drill, man. So if you look here on this handle, I meant to mention this, man. If you look here on this head, it kind of indents over like this. It fits perfect for your palm. Allows you to get more pressure when you're drilling. But we're gonna let this thing smoke, finish smoking, and I'm gonna set my table back up, and we're gonna give the final thoughts on this. So we'll be right back. Now that's more like it, Harbor Freight. Now, granted, it did shut down on me a few times. This drill is better than the Hercules drills that I've used. Let me tell you the problem I have with Hercules. They tout Hercules as like a professional grade brand. And they're not, man. They're really not. You know, I'm not trying to offend you if you if you love Hercules or whatever. I'm not trying to offend you, man. But Hercules are not a professional grade drill driver, whatever. They're not professional. They're decent tools. Yes, they are decent. But I would spend my money on this before I would any Hercules. Hands down. No questions asked, man. No questions asked. Now I did get this thing smoking. This is this isn't a professional drill either, but man, this is a, this is a good looking drill. It's not at a bad price. They need to obviously offer more variety in the battery as far as the amp hour goes. They need a five amp hour, six amp hour, whatnot. But this is just the beginning for this. And if you was if you was an average homeowner and say you was just wanting some good looking tools to put in your house that you're gonna use. I would, I, and you wanted to go to Harbor Freight, I would tell you, man, just go ahead and invest in this Bauer line before I would the Hercules line. Granted, they are pretty similar in price. You will save some money with these. Now, this is just, I'm just obviously just speaking off this drill here. Before I even say all that, man, let, let's get to the other tools or whatever. But based off this drill so far, this is a pretty good drill. If you're looking for a good right angle drill, then that's not going to kill you in price, then you may be able to go this route. Granted, as I said earlier, you're looking at $109 and change for this and the battery. That's not counting the charger, man. The charger's $19.99, I believe. So you're going to tack on another $20. So we're looking at $140 basically for this with the charger. But it actually performed pretty good. It, it drilled them holes no problem, man. And if you was, as I said, average person, homeowner, whatever, if you just need to use this, not at your job every day, or you didn't have to drill a lot of holes, then, man, this looks good. It feels good. It did the job. It's a powerful drill. It's a pretty good drill. I'm impressed. 
overall, I, I would have to agree with the reviewers on the Harbor Freight website and say this is a four to five star drill based on where it is in the tier of drills, obviously. If I was going to, you know, I, I, I don't have another right angle drill to compare this to here, but this is a good drill. So I give it, I, I say Harbor Freight did their thing with this. And I've been wanting to check out this Bauer line for a while now. So we'll get to the grinder, we'll get to the saw, and then we'll move on from there. I want to try the half inch impact, as I said. I want to try the three eighths impact. I want to try, I want to try them all. We're going to try to get all 15 and we'll see what they can do. And this obviously will be over time because I'm not made of money. You know, I had to do it, you know, as as I had the money available. But we'll 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 get to it when we can, man. We'll test all these out and We'll figure it out from there. But let me know down in the comments, man, if you've used this drill. You know, I seen the bear did a video on this drill a while back, and you know, he 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 gave it good reviews. The bear's a good guy, man. I ain't talked to him in a while. We used to talk a lot back when I first started my YouTube channel, but we haven't talked in a while. But he is a really good guy. I need to start getting back into watching his videos and everything. I got so much going on, man. It's it's hard for me to try to juggle the YouTube, my work, family, you know, my new girlfriend, you know, everything, man. It's hard for me to to try to get everything in, but I'm going to do the best I can for you guys. I'm going to do the best I can for my family, do the best I can for everybody, man. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it if you go down and subscribe to my channel. When you do subscribe, man, just click that bell next to them. Yeah, it's going to give you a notification on your phone, let you know when I upload something, but if you don't do that, then you won't know when I upload something, man. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate everything, man. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give you an honest review every time. Are we going to agree every time? Probably not, you know, but we're men at the end of the day and, and I'll still respect you, man. As long as you respect me, I'm going to respect you back. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right there, man. So until next time, stay real.